Jurassic Park, a novel, written by Michael Crichton, is a thrilling science fiction narrative that delves into the consequences of genetic engineering and the resurrection of extinct species. The story begins with a succession of mysterious animal attacks near Costa Rican beaches, raising concerns among local authorities. Concurrently, paleontologist Dr. Alan Grant and his colleague Dr. Ellie Sattler are approached by billionaire entrepreneur John Hammond for a consultancy on his latest project. Unaware of what awaits, they fly to Ila Nublar, accompanied by mathematician Dr. Ian Malcolm and lawyer Donald Gennaro, who represents the investors backing Hammond's venture. Upon arrival, the visitors are astounded to discover that Hammond, through his biotechnology company InGen, has achieved the impossible, cloning dinosaurs. Harnessing the power of genetic engineering and extracting ancient DNA from mosquitoes preserved in amber, InGen has populated the secluded island with a variety of dinosaurs, planning to open an exclusive theme park titled Jurassic Park. With awe and trepidation, Grant, Sattler, and Malcolm tour the park facilities, including the laboratory where geneticist Dr. Henry Wu and his team engineer the dinosaurs. The park boasts impressive technologies for controlling the environment and securing the dinosaurs within electrically fenced habitats. However, Malcolm, a proponent of chaos theory, doubts the park's stability, warning that complex systems will always find a way to break down in unpredictable ways. As the group continues to explore, they meet Hammond's grandchildren, Lex and Tim Murphy, who join them in a preview tour of the park. The tour starts smoothly, but quickly unravels when a tropical storm approaches the island, and most employees leave for the mainland. Meanwhile, Dennis Nedry, a disgruntled InGen computer programmer indebted to a rival corporation, exploits the situation by executing a plan to steal dinosaur embryos and disable the park's security systems to facilitate his escape. This results in a catastrophic system failure that deactivates the electric fences, unleashing the dinosaurs. The park descends into chaos. A Tyrannosaurus rex breaks free, attacking the tour vehicles and injuring Malcolm. Grant and the children are left stranded in the park, forced to navigate through the perilous terrain populated by roaming dinosaurs. As they en route to safety, they encounter various dinosaurs, including stampeding Gollumimus and nurturing Triceratops. Back at the main control room, Hammond and the remaining staff, including Chief Engineer Ray Arnold and Game Warden Robert Muldoon, struggle to regain control. They encounter their own dangers, with raptors, known for their intelligence and ferocity, posing the deadliest threat after escaping their enclosure. Nedry's escapade ends disastrously as he loses his bearings in the storm and encounters a venom-spitting Dilophosaurus, which kills him and leaves the stolen embryos lost in the mud. In the meantime, Ellie and Muldoon venture out to restore power and rescue Malcolm, encountering the lethal raptors firsthand. With Arnold's unsuccessful attempts to reset the system, Ellie braves the utility shed to manually reboot it, eventually restoring power and electrifying the fences. Through a combination of wit and perseverance, Grant and the children survive multiple hazardous encounters and find refuge in the visitor center. There, they are pursued by raptors, but manage to outsmart them with the help of Lex's computer skills, which restore phone communication and call for a rescue. The novel culminates in a tense standoff as the velociraptors are poised to breach the control room, but the park's T-Rex inadvertently intervenes, attacking the raptors and inadvertently allowing the humans to reach safety. In the aftermath, the survivors are airlifted from the island. Hammond is deeply affected by the failure of his dream and the realization of its inherent folly. Costa Rican authorities declare the island unsafe and begin an investigation detaining the survivors for questioning before they return to their home countries. The narrative concludes with reports of surviving dinosaurs possibly having reached the mainland, leaving the ominous implication that the experiment's repercussions have extended beyond the confines of Isla Nublar. In the end, Jurassic Park serves as a cautionary tale about the hubris of mankind, the unpredictability of complex systems, and the ethical ramifications of scientific advancements that tamper with the natural order. Through gripping action and thought-provoking dialogue, Crichton explores the theme that life, despite all attempts to contain and control it, will always find a way. 
You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.